Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CBTV. Now following on from my blog comment last week, it seems we have another example of a crisis in our welfare system. Omar Halabi, a 19 year old from Sydney, has been claiming the disability support pension for the last three years. Now recently, he was given a good behaviour bond for taking part in last year's riots in Sydney, where he damaged a police car. And as the Daily Telegraph reports, and I quote, he has no trouble smashing police car windscreens with milk crates, but it seems Muslim writer Omar Halabi is not fit to work, end quote. Now you add this to last week's case of the restoration of the disability support pension to an Australian man living overseas who did not meet Centrelink's residency requirements and it starts to build a picture of how entitlement and lax management can diminish the integrity of our welfare system. And this leads me to a recent poll that found 49% of Australians think the government has too much control and involvement in our lives. This government in particular is constantly trying to tell us what we can say or do, setting up rule after rule to try and protect us from ourselves. Of course, a certain amount of government intervention is needed in the daily running of society. Say, for example, if there are abuses in the system that need to be rectified. But on the whole, government should leave individuals and families to live as they choose within the bounds of the law. This is a founding tenet of my party, something we've been advocating for many, many years. Society works best when people have control over their own lives with minimal government interference. And it seems that almost half of Australians now recognise this. That suggests there's still work to do to convince the other half, but it's time for governments to start paying attention to the important message. This is Corey Bernardi. You're watching CBTV.